have in DSPC modulation technique, we consider a special case by considering modulating signal MT that is equivalent to cos 2 pi FMT and its representation in frequency domain that is equivalent to 1 by 2 delta F minus FM plus 1 by 2 delta F plus FM means we have two impulse corresponding to our modulating frequency as shown in the figure. Similarly, we have the representation of carrier signal that is corresponding to cos 2 pi FCT. Now multiplying both the signal that is modulating signal or carrier signal, we get DSPC modulated signal that have upper side band as well as lower side band as shown in the figure. Now as per the introduction of SSPSC modulation technique, by utilizing band pass filter, we get the result that is upper sideband SSPC signal that contains only one sideband corresponding to upper sideband. Similarly, we get the lower sideband and which is known as LSB SSBSC modulated signal. Now their corresponding mathematical representation as well as their spectrum representation is shown in the figure. And here we have one important mathematical representation that is equivalent to sin omega mt is equivalent to cos omega mt minus pi by 2 and similarly we have sin omega ct is equivalent to cos omega ct minus pi by 2 means if in the total angle we provide minus 90 degree phase then we get sin omega ct as well as sin omega mt. Now we consider the power content in SSBSC signal. Now by considering the same mathematical signal power formula, we get the modulating carrier and modulated signal power as we have in the DSBC modulation technique. Now in this the modulating signal power is equivalent to AM square divided by 2 into R. Similarly, we have carrier signal power that is equivalent to AC square by 2 into R. Now, the important point which is different from DSPC modulation technique that in modulated signal, we have only one side band. It can be your upper side band or it can be your lower side band. So by utilizing the mathematical representation of upper side band or lower side band, we get power, the modulated signal power corresponding to upper side band signal power or lower side band signal power. And very very important point, the total side band power is equivalent to upper sideband power or lower sideband power. Here in SSPSC, it can be your upper sideband or it can be a lower sideband. But this is different in DSPSC. There is upper sideband plus lower sideband in DSPSC. So this is one important point which you have to remember and that is different from DSPSC modulation technique. And another important point, if we have multi-tone signal, now total sideband signal power is equivalent to the sum of all lower sideband power or the sum of all upper sideband power. And another important point, the modulation or transmission efficiency is also 100% in SSBSC signal that is similar to DSPC signal because the total sideband signal power is also equivalent to total modulated signal power. There is no matter that it can be related with one sideband or it can be related with two sideband as per the SSPSC or DSPSC modulated signal.
so as per the outcome the entire signal power in SSBSC is also carried by sideband at the cost of expensive and complex receiver which is due to utility of synchronous detector at the receiver now in similar to DSPSC modulation technique there is also requirement of synchronous detector at the receiver end of SSPSC modulation technique so in this there is also effect of phase and frequency end in the synchronous detection so if there is any frequency error or phase error then it produce an attenuation or distortion or both in the estimate modulating masses at the receiver of SSBSC signal at the receiver so if we go for the mathematical representation then first we take the received signal which is our desired SSBSC signal and by multiplying the local generated signal which has the frequency error corresponding to delta omega and the phase error corresponding to phi and this local oscillator signal is this now by multiplying both the signal as per the block diagram of receiver by using product modulator and passing that signal by using low pass filter we get the EDT which is equivalent to mt by 2 into cos delta omega t plus phi minus mst by 2 into sin delta omega t plus phi so here in SSBSA signal we have two term instead of DSBC signal in which we have only one term and due to these two terms and they are considered as slow time varying function that will distort the message signal so in similar way as we have in DSBC we consider four cases the first case corresponding to our desired signal in which there is no frequency error or no phase error means our local oscillator signal at the receiver is perfectly synchronized in terms of frequency and phase with respect to transmitter carrier wave signal and we get the EDT output that is equivalent to MT by 2 which is free from distortion as well as attenuation in the second case if the phase error is present and the frequency error is equivalent to 0 we get the EDT output that is equivalent to MT by 2 into cos phi minus MST by 2 into sin phi. So the phi is time independent and the term MST into sin phi by 2 also introduce the phase distortion. But very important point there is no quadrature null effect in SSVSC modulation technique as it is in the DSBC modulation technique and another important point by considering Donald Duck voice effect the phase distortion does not seriously affect the voice communication because our ears are less sensitive to the phase distortion but it is intolerable in video as well as in music transmission and now we consider the case third in which the phase error is equivalent to zero but the frequency error is present then the EDT output is equal to mt by 2 into cos delta omega t minus mst by 2 into sin delta omega t the cos delta omega t and sin delta omega t are time dependent and produce the distortion in the detected output and that is totally similar to DSBSC modulation technique in which the variable is there which is amplitude fluctuation at a rate of delta omega and it is tolerable up to 
the frequency array that is up to 30 hertz. Now, if there is frequency error or phase error, both are present, then our signal get attenuation as well as distortion in the detected output at the receiver. Now we have the phasor diagram of SSBSC modulation technique. We consider the same assumption as we have in DSBSC modulation technique. In this, the carrier signals are corresponding to horizontal line and that is dotted. That will show the absence of carrier signal frequency. But in this, only one sideband is there. And in diagram, we take corresponding to our LSB sideband. So, in phasor diagram, for the single tone, only one lower sideband is there and that have corresponding to their omega angular frequency and that rotate clockwise. But amplitude variation can also be observed in SSBS signal by considering multi-tone signal. So, for representation of amplitude variation in the phasor diagram, we consider two-tone LSB SSBSC signal. And here, the first lower sideband is operating on angular frequency omega 1 and the another lower sideband is operating on the angular frequency corresponding to omega 2. And by utilizing both lower sideband 1 as the lower sideband 2 we get the resultant vector sum and as per the waveform the amplitude variation is also observed thank you very much for your thesis time and please subscribe this channel for getting regular updates